when a patient has been first diagnosed with prostate cancer, the next immediate step is uh, to move forward with an action plan, okay? And that action plan basically involves defining uh, the prostate cancer in that patient, which can vary between patients, and really the health status and expected lifespan and health risk factors of that patient. When considering a prostate cancer diagnosis, not all prostate cancers are the same. Uh, it's a broad spectrum disease, where in some cases a low risk profile, in other cases a high risk profile. And depending upon how that prostate cancer is defined individually, an action plan uh, then would follow. Low risk prostate cancer refers to a diagnosis of prostate cancer that has a low likelihood of being a threat to a man's lifespan. And in general, when the diagnosis is made of low risk prostate cancer, the man can expect to be managed with surveillance. Aggressive prostate cancer refers to a prostate cancer diagnosis that would likely constitute a threat to a man's lifespan. It needs to be dealt with more proactively than with surveillance. And options for localized disease typically refers to either radical prostatectomy or radiation therapy. And for more advanced disease, typically the offering is hormonal therapy. For a patient who's been immediately diagnosed with prostate cancer, we need to take an action plan, move forward with defining the disease state for that patient, his overall health st status and expectations for longevity, and then move forward with an action plan that could be, if it's a low-risk disease, surveillance, if it's more high-risk disease or aggressive disease, uh, consider surgery or radiation for a more localized form of disease, or hormonal therapy if it's much more advanced. When a man has been diagnosed with prostate cancer, it is extremely important to move forward with an action plan, work with your physician, become educated, and survive this disease and live for a long time.